one. Okay, I'd like to welcome everyone to the inaugural meeting of the Government Operations and Regulations Committee. It's Tuesday, October 5th. We've got three items on the agenda today. I'm going to go ahead and check everyone off that's currently here, so that I didn't forget. And we've got a quorum, so we'll go ahead and move forward. The first item on the agenda is the election of one Metro Action Commission member. Now, previously this was in the Health and Human Services Committee, but because this covers private, state, federal, educational, health, and welfare facilities, um, our staff felt it best for it to go under the Government Operations Committee. Um, oftentimes, the chair serves on the commission, which I'm willing to do, but I'm also willing to take any nominations from the floor. Chair, I'd be willing to do it as well, but if you want to, I certainly would. I, I hereby nominate Council Lady Hancock. Okay, thank you. Okay. No. All in favor? Yep. Aye. Aye. Hang on. <laughs> All in favor? Hang on. Are there other nominations? Uh, yeah, I wanted to nominate Councilmember Benedict. Oh. Okay. Thank you for the other nominations. So we've got Hancock and Benedict. Any other nominations? All right. So all in favor for Hancock? Raise your hand. Hands down. All in favor for Benedict? Raise your hand. All right. So we have um, five and two. I'll do it this time, and maybe we'll um, shake it up at the, at the annual. And I would like to also announce that um, I selected Council Lady Benedict as the vice chair of this committee. This committee is essentially the previous codes committee with a few other things thrown in. And luckily, we've gotten a few other committee members as well, and um, Council Lady Benedict is one of the new um, members that was not previously on codes. So welcome. Thank you, Chair. And welcome to um, Council Lady Porterfield. Thank, Thank you. you. The second item on the agenda is um, Resolution 2021-1175. And um, this is, of course, referring to the Government Operations and Regulations Committee. It's approving Amendment 1 to a contract between <coughs> Metro Government and Civic Engineering and Information Technologies. So much. Does anyone have any questions about the... Resolution. Yeah, what is it? Is there anything from <laughs> a department staff? Is there any department chance? staff present today? And um, essentially it's just a change in words. Let me see if I have that print out here. Chair, I believe if I recall it was a change in the name of Civic Engineering and Information Technologies, Inc. I believe it changed to LLC. So I think it was just a housekeeping um, change in the contract, if I recall. That's what I thought. So to make sure. And any other comments or questions about that? Just that I would always encourage the administration to send staff people to our meetings so in case we have questions. For <laughs> certainly, certainly. And um, I'll follow up with them on that. And so if there's no other questions about this, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? And then to a meteor item on our agenda, a bill on second reading, Bill 2021-911 with um, Councilman O'Connell and 27 co-sponsors. Congratulations, that might be the heftiest one this term. And I know that you do have a proposed substitute and amendment. Um, would anyone like to move the substitute so, to the board? Can you yeah, read it first? I, I think we have to read the full. You have to read the caption. Yes. I think this committee only needs to hear the late filed amendment, but I will let Hannah confirm that. She's here. I don't know where Hannah is. Maybe she I think I'm another Yeah, she's committee. probably in another committee meeting. I'll go ahead and go with um, this would amend the Metro Code pertaining to the composition of Metro Transportation Licensing Commission, amending Title VI of the Metro Code. Um, in section 9.20.020 pertaining to vehicle noise, amending the metro code pertaining to consumption of alcoholic beverages in vehicles. So moved. Second. And Councilman O'Connell, would you like to address the committee? Sure, I can. Um, and I, this may have been the whole bill referred here, I wasn't sure. Um, if so, I'll, I guess I need to give the, the most important part is a late filed amendment um, and reprocess this part of rules for tonight. But um, the bill as a whole, 
is basically our uh, effort to regulate an, a currently unregulated segment of transportainment. And the bill, the principal thing the bill does is uh, move a category of vehicles under the jurisdiction of the Transportation Licensing Commission. It does create some more empowerment uh, specifically with regard to noise, uh, and it has uh, a pretty important change in the way that uh, we expect alcohol to be available on any of the vehicles, including some of the currently regulated vehicles. Uh, there, the late filed amendment pushes the effective date um, of the alcohol provision out to December 1st, so it would not be upon passage. It would give some time for a subsequent bill. We, and this is part of the reason it was late filed, as we got word back from Metro Legal that they still needed a few weeks to do analysis around uh, a, a basically a new permitting process for BYO or for um, uh, effectively a mobile catering permit to allow for people to potentially serve on the vehicles. Um, all of that, the, the entire package would be designed to then allow TLC to do rulemaking between passage and April, which is when the um, effective date of the, the TLC provisions come into effect, and that is basically the nature of the bill. And Director Zeitlin, are we allowed to consider the late filing amendment now, or is that something that has to be done on the floor? You can, you can consider the late amendment in here. On the floor, the rules will need to be suspended. Okay. And Thank you. If I might, uh, from a legal standpoint, did, did and you alluded to this earlier, did we not already pass the substitute on this in codes? I'm sorry, this is 911? Yeah. The substitute? Yeah. In codes? In uh, transportation. It was oh, in, in transportation. Yeah, it was in transportation, but I was going to say, this is the first time it's been considered by this committee. Gotcha, so okay. Need to be I was again. just... And one other point of order, this is now effectively rules, right? This, no. This is, <laughs> no. this is now effectively codes. <laughs> this is GovOps. And regulations. And regulations. That's pretty much the only change. And it used to be. Freddie, I'm scratching my head, too. And rules is in the chamber today. Oh, okay. That clarifies everything. Okay. Yeah. So do, I, to do I need to go in there also? Are they still meeting by chance? They are doing um, like uh, confirmation, so okay. people are speaking in there. Oh, it is 5.89. I'm trying to check if they're doing if I may, we just discussed this in transportation and public safety for the last hour and a half. The last, the late filed amendment? All of it. Okay. The whole thing. Um, I, I will tell you this, the late filed amendment, I don't think anyone had a problem with it. Um, Freddie, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think anybody had a problem with it. I don't think anyone had a problem with a substitute. Uh, the only thing that actually did take up quite a bit of conversation was taking one specific part of the transportation entertainment industry and cutting them off from whole alcohol on December 1 while not doing that to the rest of them which is 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 a separate conversation to be honest with you but uh, is that a pretty much a good two-minute summary of what we just lived through yeah. would someone like to move the substitute so we can talk about the whole yeah, move. Move. In a second okay Thank you. super thank you so that's on the floor, and uh, do we have any folks here that weren't in that committee that would like to ask questions or add, and we can lean on the advice of those that were? No questions? I would ask, though, that the committee do consider the late filed amendment. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. I was in the other committee, but I would like to um, respond to what Council Member Swift said. Yes, please. Um, uh, to note, it's the one specific part of the industry that's being um, singled out, I guess was the language, is the, the part that's, that ha is open and um, doesn't contain noise and doesn't contain uh, the possibility or reality of projectiles being thrown from it. Um, so it's not, it's not that it's, um, you know, random or you know, singling them out for no good reason, it, they're singled out because the, the, the issues with, the, with, with some of the vehicles are the more uh, the noise and, and in some occasions um, things being thrown. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's the other vehicles that are self-enclosed solve the problem by being self-enclosed. People haven't fallen out of those? I don't know. 
I haven't heard any news channel five stories about it. Yeah. Are they trying to hang on to the mirrors or something? I don't know. I don't know. And and, and I agree. I mean there there is I understand and appreciate both sides of this. Um I just I, I have a an internal problem with let's select just this one little part of this whole big huge industry here and cut them off in December one and start all over again. Um, I think that should be addressed separately of everything else in this bill. But I tell you right now, that was not the way the vote went. So I'm here to tell you that it passed unanimously, the amendment and the substitute and the bill of substitute. And by the uh, Councilor Benedict was yes. Thank you, Chair. I just so once in a while my wife says, Hey, let's go downtown while we're out cruising around the city. And I'm like, you're nuts. Yeah. It's a mess. I don't want to go down there and sit in traffic. And she says, oh, come on. It'll be fun. We'll see the crowd. The last time we did that, someone in one of the buses that was open air removed a piece of clothing and showed private parts of their body mm -hmm. that in and of itself would, I don't believe would be legal. I'm not sure about that. I haven't checked that through the council office or an attorney. Right? I haven't tested that out personally either. Thank you, Council Member Young. Um, I just think that that is indicative of the type of envi environment, and I appreciate the sponsor for bringing this. I appreciate the substitute, and I appreciate the amendment. Um, I have no doubt that this passed unanimously in another committee. Something needs to be done. I think that this bill, <coughs> as, as substituted um, and amended, um, addresses that in a way that also is fair in that it does create a timeline that will allow us to more effectively control what's happening as compared to today what's happening which is that there's um, you know carte blanche to be able to entertain and quite frankly encourage the type of behavior that I saw and so with that in mind I, I support this and I, I'm, I'm one of the co-sponsors um, and I, I think that we've the, the, the sponsor has found a good um, a, a number of changes to the initial bill that I think are, are, are important as we look at where do we go from here, where, how do we begin to level set and then proceed as we have with other challenging issues um, relative to the growth that we've had in Nashville, especially downtown. So thank you, Chair. And Councilman Rivers? What is going to just ask just to make sure that we're all thinking about all options. So we have a substitute from Councilman Burkhall. We have a late filed amendment from Councilman Burkhall. We also have a proposed amendment from Councilman Harper. That we haven't gotten to yet. We haven't gotten to yet. But okay. we will. But I just want to make sure that we're considering all the options. Thank right, you. So. And did anyone else have any other words on the proposed substitute? Okay, so, and would anyone like to move um, Councilman O'Connell's we filed amendment. So moved. Let's, we need to move the substitute. We need to pass the substitute yeah, first. Pass the substitute first before we can amend it. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, what's? Are you ready to vote on the substitute? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No. And okay. And now, um, would you like to move Councilman O'Connell's late filed amendment first? Already spoken that and second. Second. Any discussion on the late filed amendment? Would you like to speak to the late filed amendment, Councilman O'Connell, or did he cover it already? Uh, it, it literally just changes some dates so that the alcohol mm -hmm. piece. It basically gives us some running room to get the permits, uh, get the analysis from Metro Legal, and file a follow-up bill to create a path to a permitted BYO. Any questions for Councilman O'Connell? Any comments from the group? Everyone ready to vote? All in favor on the proposed substitute? Aye. 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 Wait, 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 filed amendment to the substitute, sorry. Aye. All opposed? Any abstain? Okay. 
And now we have a proposed amendment by um, Councilman Parker. Councilman Parker, would you like to describe that amendment to us? Um, sure. I, I actually, uh, this amendment was a little bit of a clarification on the uh, open container prohibition that's in the substitute bill. Um, however, the, I actually don't intend to offer this tonight. Uh, the issues that I was looking to address, I think, might be better addressed by the approach that Councilmember O'Connell is referring to with the bring your own uh, permit being established. Um, so I would, I would favor um, trying that route first. Um, so I don't intend to offer this this evening. We're welcome to discuss it more. I can answer any other questions. But so you're withdrawing it? Withdraw, yeah. So we don't need to vote on it. Thank you, Councilman Parker. And so I think that closes the discussion on Bill 2021-911. We voted um, seven, four, one against the proposed substitute and eight, four, zero against the late filed amendment. Point of order. I yes. We have 10 people here. I am a member of this committee. Yes. Oh. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah. You're sitting so in the audience. John was kind enough to um, offer me. Uh, I'm 99% sure I'm a member of this committee. <laughs> you are. I'm 100% now. Your name is right here. And <laughs> zero, Madam Chair. <laughs> yeah, we do need more seats in every room, I think, now. Okay. So, closed on this one? Do we have to vote for the whole thing yeah, we as have, amended? We have to vote on it as amended, as substituted. Okay, so we would like to, um, who would like to move the bill? So moved. Second. Second. All right, so we're voting on this bill as amended, as substituted. I just all in favor. Madam Chair, yes. if I could, I just want to say that uh, I think we're going to cause some confusion for consumers and tourists mm -hmm. uh, by dividing this up between enclosed and unenclosed. I think this is being punitive on purpose in a way that I, 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 I just, I have, I'm, a, I'm a co-sponsor. I think that we need to bring in some reforms and regulations, um, but especially after sitting through and moderating discussion in Transportation Infrastructure Committee, I, I, I just, um, I'm not, I'm no longer a fan of the tone of this bill and the way it seems to be kicking an industry when an industry has been making good faith uh, efforts to change and come to the table. So I will And um, you don't mind my asking, how would it confuse the tourists if the tourists are paying to be in an enclosed with alcohol or open without alcohol? Are they expecting alcohol no matter what and then they're mm -hmm. confused that it's I, not available? Yeah. I would be uh, quite confused as a tourist if I come to town and I can uh, rent a spot on a party bus, but oh, by the <coughs> way, if it doesn't have a top, you can't have alcohol, you can just have juicy juice. My two cents, Madam Chair. Yes, Councilor Porterfield. Um, thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you, Councilman Young. I think that's a very. Um, I'm sorry to kind of be over your shoulder. No, it's okay. Um, you're vaccinated, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that's a, a very valid mask. point. I would think that it would be incumbent upon the operators to share that information upon booking what is allowed and what is not allowed. Um, so there may just be an educational component with the operators needing to make sure that um, if someone is booking that service, they know what, it, what is available to them. Yes, Councilman. I think that's a, I, I'm in agreement with Councilman Reporterfield on that, that they're, off, that they're sort of offering a service and it would have descriptors with it. I'm wondering if uh, lead sponsor uh, O'Connell has just has any comments to share about how you, how the bill arrived at that point. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how to infer tone from legislation. Uh, all I know is that the framework here establishes what I would characterize as a cooling off period. Um, if there is disagreement about that, it's worth having discussion about. Is Councilman Cash? Uh, I, I mean, I, I'm not bothered by the tone of it. I mean, it's to me the tone is that we're taking something seriously that that constituents have been uh, ha sharing concerns about for some time now. Um, I, and I, the, the word uh, punitive came up earlier, and I don't know that that's exactly the perfect word to describe what's happening 
Um, I mean, in a way it is, but it's not just punitive for the sake of being punitive. It, it's, it's addressing a, a real problem that our constituents have repeatedly and, and, and assertively let us know is, is something that's unacceptable to them. It, it's unfortunate that we, um, you know, I, I, I never, I'm not going to revel in, you know, limiting what a business can do. Um, I don't enjoy that, but there are some real problems here that need to be addressed, and you know, we got to take it seriously. And I think that's that's the tone of the bill is that we are we are taking this seriously. Thank you. I agree. I think that you know we are here to serve Nashvilleians, and I don't know about all of you, but all of the emails I've gotten from my constituents, as well as from the county, have been supportive of this legislation. And so, even if some tourists are a little bit confused, and um, and have to have a better customer service model from those tour operators, those are not our constituents. We need to focus on serving Nashvilleans. Okay, any, any other comments? Ready to vote? All 10 of us? <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 And opposed? No. Thank you very much. And last item on the agenda, is VL 2021-913, sponsored by Hager, and this would amend the substitute ordinance VL 2019-1633 to permit certain individuals with active permits on file with the Department of Codes Administration as of January 1st, 2022, to be eligible for short-term rental property and non-owner occupied permits. So moved. And Blair. Perfect timing, Councilman Hager just walked in. Councilman Hager, would you like to address the committee? Uh, yes, this is uh, the amendment is in relation to a call from Bill Herbert that we're getting covered up with applications. And again, they're like four or five weeks behind. So he asked us if we do an amendment. And what this does is allow them, as long as they got their application in by December 31st, they will still issue them a permit, but they have to have their application in by that date. So, as long as they've got it in by then, they can still issue the permit after January the 1st. But they have to have the application in. That's all this amendment does. And I saw your hand, but you're pointing over here. Okay, so Councilman Cass. Uh, I just have a question. So I, I want to make sure I understand something. So if there's, like, if there's a building in progress, right, they're permitted, they're building their building, before they can apply, like a multifamily um, building, before they can apply for short-term rental non-owner occupied permits, they have to have a, 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 a an occupancy permit, right? They can't apply. They have the building has to be finished and approved before they can apply for a short-term. That's my understanding. Okay, that's all I want to know. Yeah. So to follow up on that line of thinking, then they would have to have a final UNO before they would then be able to be eligible to apply? So Larry, what you're saying is these are people who have final UNOs and then will be trying to apply before the Yeah, start. I can add that to that, but yeah. the thing I got from Bill was they were yeah. so far behind and everybody's yeah. in a rush filing these applications, mm -hmm. they just can't process them before right. January the 1st. Yeah. So if they've got their application in and everything else is okay, they can issue the permit after January the 1st. I think the point of clarity I would want, and unfortunately I don't think we have any codes in here, I think the point of clarity I would want on that is that what I would hate to do is actually exacerbate the situation where there's a run, there's a run on permit applications mm -hmm. in the last quarter of the year, and it's people who haven't even poured a foundation, right? Like well, we can't yeah. do that. This was Bill's request, no, but, the, huh? but I'm a little worried that's the gray area. That's yeah. what that's, that's, this this was a request coming from Bill Herbert, though. Yeah, no, I know. I'm not, I'm not coming to Yeah. I'm just saying. If y'all want to amend it to add that, that's fine with me. So do we care. need to defer a meeting? Because I don't think we can amend it on Thursday. Is it the House 17th? They would, well, they would have to have a building permit, but there's nothing that says the building would have to be presently under construction. They just have to have a building permit on file. And I hate to jump out of order. I'm just trying to. No, if you want to, you know, if you want to defer to one meeting and add that as an amendment, we can do that. No, no, no problem. Thank you. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Yeah. 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 All opposed? Yeah. Thank you. We're Thanks, Larry. Appreciate it. Thank you. And meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much. Good job, Thank you, Chair. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.